ओम नमो भगवते रामकृष्णाय लेसन्स फॉर लाइफ फ्रॉम स्वामी जगदात्मा जीज इंस्पायरिंग बुक लर्न टू लिव वॉल्यूम टू चैप्टर वन गिव अप वरीज एंड एंगजाइटीज फेथ इन वन सेल्फ एंड फेथ इन गॉड This is the secret of success. Spiritual values like purity of mind and unselfishness are of supreme importance. This is explained in the present episode. The voice of wisdom. Even during the last century, Swami Vivekananda had issued the following warning: All political and social systems and organizations basically depend upon the goodness of man. Man cannot be made virtuous by an act of parliament. it cannot be taken for granted that if the parliament enacts good legislation a nation becomes automatically strong but if the people of a country become good and great that country becomes automatically good and great of all forms of wealth in the world man is the most valuable asset everything goes to show that socialism or some form of rule by the people call it what you will is coming on the boards the people will certainly want the satisfaction of their material needs less work no oppression no war more food what guarantee have we that this or any civilization will last unless it is based on religion on the goodness of man depend on it religion goes to the root of the matter if it is right all is right vivekananda continues acts of parliament government political administration all these are indeed means but they are not our final goal beyond them there is a goal which is not governed by any of these factors christ discovered that moral fervor and purity of heart are true sources of strength our sages proclaim the same truth it is thus the religion strikes at the root of the problem it molds man's character swami ji continues religion is not at fault i claim that no destruction of religion is necessary to improve the hindu society and that this state of society exists not on account of religion but because religion has not been applied to society as it should have been this i am ready to prove from our old books every word of it this state of things must be removed not by destroying religion but by following the great teachings of the hindu faith swami ji continues so every improvement in india requires first of all an upheaval in religion before flooding india with socialistic or political ideas first deluge the land with spiritual ideas the first work that demands our attention is that the most wonderful truths confined in our upanishads in our scriptures in our puranas must be brought out from the books brought out from the monasteries brought out from the forests brought out from the possession of selected bodies of people and scattered broadcast all over the land the secret of achieving national spirit in our country lies in regaining our spiritual strength which seems to have been lost if we have to lift ourselves up we should stop quarreling among ourselves keep the motto before you swami ji says elevation of the masses without injuring the religion swami jagdat manji concludes on the whole to create a spiritual awareness among people is like cleaning the blood of the body politic like spraying the right kind of germicide on plants educated people knowledgeable men should absorb spiritual ideas with some effort and spread the message of religion among the people it can be any party that wins but if man's heart is not purified selfishness is going to affect our body politic who can be equal to a man endowed with a pure heart an edifice becomes strong if each individual brick is strong and holds on to its position each drop of water contributes to the making up of the stream each corn goes to fill up the garners it is by improving individual character that we can hope for the welfare of the society 
and the foundation for the development of character lies in faith in god faith in oneself and faith that virtue will triumph ultimately satyam eva jayate om shanti 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 hari om tat sat shri ram krishna arpanam astu